friends in this video i am going to show you how you can find the r in r b and uh, r out of this uh, common emitter amplified with source resistance as you can see this picture uh, this in this diagram we have uh, a BJT and BJT on one side is collector resistance this is emitter resistance and this is base resistance and here we have two capacitors uh, uh, one is base side and then the second one is uh, with collector side and then uh, the third one is uh, with uh, my emitter side so in these cap this capacitor is bypass capacitors Oh, this one is bypass capacitor and these two capacitors are the coupling capacitors and you already know in AC analysis these two uh, these two capacitors are are short for AC analysis you already know and this DC source are also short but the current source would be open so here we have no current source that's why uh, we have neglect uh, here we have neglect this so in this we uh, this is the important thing is we are just neglecting here we have the channel length modulation or we can say this is the internal resistance of this bgt and then uh, here we have we have need to just uh, find the uh, make the ratio of v out by v signal so how you can make this ratio so this is very important thing so this uh, now i'm discussing this before i'm discussing uh, b before i will start this you have need to if you are just new in my channel so you have need to subscribe okay so uh, now i'm uh, let i am start this uh, problem so as you can see here we have ac model of this uh, common uh, common emitter amplifier so this in this uh, in this uh, AC model, you see this. Uh, this is my base collector, and this is emitter. So this model, so only this one. This one is for my this. This is my BJT. Okay. So this is the model of BJT. Only this. Only this. This part. So uh, in this, uh, you you already know. We are just. Uh, R out we are uh, taking R out from the emitter we are neglect this RL uh, taking R out from this em emitter uh, uh, collector side sorry and here we are just uh, RN taking RN with RB so this is RB is uh, you can say my RB my RB is uh, is my base resistance rb is including over here okay so this is my r mm, r pi resistance and this is uh, my collector resistance because you already know this these oh, voltage source are open so, uh, sorry vol vol uh, voltage source are just ground so uh, are short so this uh, this one is just ground over here and then i just uh, kept this r r uh, c over here from here to here so this is my internal res resistance of this signal and let's see and this is my emitter resistance you already know this one is emitter resistance so now we are just start so first uh, i am going to show you how you can find the rn of this signal amplifier so this is very important to know so let's see so uh, first i am just applying the we have need to just make the ratio of this uh, because Rn equals to Vb by v, Vb over Ib. So now I am I'm going to show you how you can make the ratio of Vb by R uh, Vb by Ib. So let's see. So apply the KVL over here. Apply apply the KVL. So uh, if you apply the KVL at the base emitter side so you will be from here so vb my vb my vb my vb minus ib r r pi minus ie r e equals would be equivalent to zero will be according to the kvo because it shows voltage law so if you solve this because you already know ie ib ie equals to one plus rb so i just put this value 
replace this IE with one plus B and IE. So if you just replace this, so you it would be look like this. So if you just take a common this these two uh, this these two uh, terms, you will come over here and you need to just take common IB. So if you take IB common and then R R pi one plus beta I R E will be uh, will remain the same over here so uh, ib ib will come over here you have to just make the ratio for rn so this rn would, would become after you just uh, came, uh, ib will just come over here so it would be rn my, my rn equals to r pi plus one plus beta ie one thing is not to be noted over here because this r pi and this re are in series okay so the this is the important thing and this is the this is the one plus beta factor you can say so r pi and r e are in series so now i am starting so for again you need to just uh, apply the ohm's law at the collector side so if you just collector side over here my so this is zero this is because current is going over here so uh, zero minus I'm just applying the ohms like the collector so you can say zero minus V V out zero minus V out equals to uh, divide uh, zero minus V out divided by RC so this one is resistance divided by RC it would be equivalent to IC and IC would be equivalent to GMBB so if you just solve this you will get this and you already know beta what is my beta my beta is my beta is gm re so beta would be equivalent to g gm r r pi so i just put this over here yeah so i just replace vb with first i just replace vb with ib r pi so vb uh, i just replace vb because you already know what is the vb so vb is the uh, current is uh, in this uh, in this branch IB is flowing you know so IB is flowing so my voltage is V equals to IR so VB multiplied with R pi so this one is that's why this is my uh, this is my IB R pi so if you uh, if you just make the ratio of uh, uh, of uh, v out by v signal you need to just put this value and then beta you already know so this is this r pi and gm or if r pi gm would be equal to beta so i just put over here if you put this value you will get this minus beta minus beta i b r c so r c will from from here and then my ib my ib is over coming over here you can see so my ib is ib ib will come over here and rn will come over here so this one is um, ib equals to vb by rn so i can say this is equation number one so we have need to find this value because this is the requirement of this you can say so vb how you can find find the vb so for vb for VB, we are just applying the VDR. So if you just apply the VDR of this, uh, if you just apply the VDR, you will get the VB. So my VB would be equivalent to, as you can see, my would be equivalent to a V signal, V signal multiplied with RN. Why we are just uh, RN will come over here because these two resistance are in series. So that's why these both are both is coming in this. Uh, uh, both are coming in this uh, in this VDR you can say because Rn equivalent to what you can say Rn Rn would be R, Rn would be equivalent to R pi plus 1 plus beta Re so that's why these two are in series so I just uh, for VB you have need to uh, include this Rn whole so would be divided then VB will come over here you have need to just put over here if you put this value if you put this value over here then you will get this then this rn 
and are in this two these two are in would be cancelled and then the remaining part will come over here a v signal will come over here and then you will your gain will come as you can see you have seen over here so if you put this value equation number when in equation number one you will get this uh, gain equals to v out by v signal minus beta rc by rn plus r signal okay so this is uh, my gain now this is the only the required thing is uh, my r out so r out we are just uh, see over here so from here uh, we can say r out is my rc so this is r out r out is rc so hope you enjoy this video if you have any question then ask in the comment section thank you so much for watching